What is up? Ladies and gentlemen, Tyler here from TarverAcademy.com. Check me out on social media, at Tyler Tarver. What? I just came out. I didn't mean to say it. We are going to get the opportunity to work another problem of the day. All right? So whether you do it for bell ringers or for extra practice or just for fun, we're about to get started. So I'm going to move over to the side. I'm going to read the question, and then you work, pause it, work it on your own, then hit play and see if you got it right. Here we go. Find the zeros of a quadratic expression represented by factors x plus 6 and x minus 7. Now I've got four options here. I'm going to give you the pose. Ready? Pause. Whew, that was a long time. You must have gotten it right because you worked really hard on it. Or you didn't hit pause. You're just looking to get the answer. I will tell your teacher. Okay, here we go. So let's read it again. Find the zeros of a quadratic expression. Quadratic expression just means like if we put the whole problem together, it would have an x squared, which means it's going to be like a loop. Okay? Represented by factors x plus 6 and x minus 7. That means these two are in our expression. So if we wanted to find it, we could just multiply those two together and we would have our equation. All right, so let's look at our options. Let's look at how to solve this. Let's look at our problem. Find the zeros. That's the main thing you need to know in working this equation. Okay, what a zero is, what that means is whenever you have your line, it wants to know the zeros are where, they, where your line hits the number line, where y equals zero. It wants to know where is it going to hit right there, which still looks like, like negative three and positive two. I don't know what it was. That's not this problem. I was just showing you what your zeros are. So there's an easy way to solve this, where even if you did not have any idea how to do this, and you just were like, I, I got nothing. I have no idea. We haven't covered this in class. I have no idea. I don't I remember I was sick. I was at a baseball game. I don't know what happened. If you have no idea, you can still get a good chance of getting this correct. Because working it is just it's so easy. But if you don't know how to do it, you don't know how to do it. But I'm gonna show you how to do it, okay? What you do is you set these equal to zero. X plus six equals zero. Okay, we're making our y zero, and then we just solve for x, okay? So to get x by itself, you do the opposite of plusing six, which means we would subtract six. And that's it, you've got one of your answers, okay? Now I can use my process of elimination and go ahead and mark out some that don't work. That's a positive six, that's a positive six. We're looking for a negative six. So I know it's not a, I know it's not b. So it's one of these two. So let's take our other one. We've got x minus seven, so I'm gonna set it equal to zero. x minus seven equals zero. What do I do to get a minus 7 to the other side? I do the opposite, which is add 7. So I'll add 7 to both sides. That cancels out. X equals 7. Positive 7. This is our answer because that's a negative 7. We don't want you. And that's your correct answer. Ladies and gentlemen, you just learned something today. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for joining me. Thank you so much for everything. If you want an example problem of the day of your own, if you want to pick the example problem of the day, just go ahead and put it in the comments. I don't know what this is, but I like it. I am sweating. Don't tell anybody. Peace! Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out tarveracademy.com.